The Phonetic Punctuation by Victor Borga. I invented the phonetic punctuation many years ago, but when I invented it, I discovered that many people who speak to each other couldn't understand each other clearly. But when we read or write, we use punctuation marks to underline the meaning of our sentences, but we do not use that support when we speak. So why don't we innovate punctuation marks and form them into sounds to use in our speech, and then we will be able to underline what we are trying to convey to each other clearly. Yeah. Now, what was all that now? Okay. Okay, that was right. Now I'm going to show you how to use the system. The period sounds like this. A dash. An exclamation mark is a vertical dash with a period underneath. The comma. Quotation marks, two commas. Or if you're left-handed, question mark is kind of tough. And last, the colon. Two little dots. You may put them over each other, or you may put them under each other. That's it. I'm going to read you a paragraph from a book that my father inherited from his two identical cousins. But you couldn't tell which one was the identical one because they look so much alike. I'm going to read you a story right here in the beginning of the book. Page 9. Oh, page 6. In the open window, there suddenly came light. Beautiful Eleanor sat alone, dreaming of but one thing. Two years had passed since she met Sir Henry. She would still remember the unhappy evening when her father had thrown him out. They had been sitting in the park, and Sir Henry said, Darling, is this the first time you have loved? And she answered, Yes. But it is so wonderful that I hope it shall not be the last. Suddenly she heard a well-known sound. It was he, and two strides who was near her, embraced, kissed, and embraced her. Henry, what is love? She asked, he answered, well, I couldn't live without. Henry, where have your thoughts been? And he answered, <laughs> suddenly he had gone. And all she heard was the well-known sound of his departing horse. The end.